Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up two brand new Pokemon TCG V Strikers tins. Both of these tins features Tyranitar V. These tins I actually did purchase for less than MSRP from Collector's Cash for $22.99 a piece. MSRP for these tins $24.99. This is one of two V Strikers tins. The other one features Empoleon V. Inside these tins, you get five Pokemon booster packs, an online TCG code card, and then one of two foil V cards. So I'll get these tins opened up, open one at a time just to show the pull rates, and I'm hoping for some very good pulls. And I was happy to see Collector's Cash selling some Pokemon TCG products for less than MSRP. It has been quite some time since I've seen that. All right, I'll get the plastic wrap off, and as you can tell, just the middle section has plastic on it. Should be able to get it open pretty easily, I'm hoping. I do have a scissors handy somewhere. I am a big fan of Tyranitar. All right, so here's a better look at the tin without the plastic wrap on it. On the back, you can see the contents on the inside. You know what? Let's move this tin a little bit down. And what do you like better, Tyranitar or Empoleon? So inside the tin, I will give away one of the online TCG code cards. So five booster packs. Not terrible set-wise. Would have liked to have seen Vivid Voltage in there. And then the online TCG code card and Tyranitar V Black Star promo. So there we have it. All right. Here's a better look at the Tyranitar V. It is a Black Star promo. SWSH109 would be the card number. It is a single strike attacker. Pretty cool looking card. The online TCG code card. This should unlock the Black Star promo for the online game. And then the four booster packs. The newest set at the time in Battle Styles. Darkness Ablaze, Sword and Shield Base Set, and Celestial Storm. Of course, Chinley Rain, the newest set out right now. I'll open up these packs, oldest to newest. Hoping for five packs to get one white cleared code card. Preferably something better than a rare hollow in that pack. Celestial Storm, the oldest set of the four different sets. Rayquaza GX in the expansion, very good. Used to pair that with Vicavolt from Sun and Moon base set. First pack of the five starts with Onyx, Clampearl, Lotad, Fanpy, Wingle, Psychic Type Energy, Tate and Liza, decent supporter card. Allows you to either shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw five cards, or switch one of your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. Bill's Maintenance. Cacturn. Reverse Hall of a Cartana, which is a rare. Two rares is always nice. Final card would be a Metacham. Now, of course, I am a competitive player in the trading card game. So a set like Celestial Storm in the expanded format. I mainly play the standard format, so... Not a big disappointment for myself not to get anything good in that Celestial Storm pack. Now on to Sword and Shield base set. First set to include V and V Max. This pack starts with Grookey, Snom, Muna, Galarian Zigzagoon, a great ability on this card when you play this Pokemon from your hand on your bench during your turn. You may put one damage counter on one of your opponent's Pokemon. Sizzlepede, Darkness Type Energy, Bisharp, Salazzle, Evolution Incense, Reverse Hall of a Galarian Rapidash. Is that another rare? Looks to be the case. And the final card would be a Sinchino. A decent ability on this card in Make Do. You must discard a card from your hand in order to use this ability. Once during your turn, you may draw two cards. Very similar to the trade ability on. Zoroark GX. Use Zoroark 
lots of times in my decks. Here's a very good set, Darkness Ablaze. Still on the hunt to pull Charizard VMAX out. Carla, my wife, has actually pulled one in a previous live stream. Speaking of live streams, I do have an upcoming break for a Chilling Rain booster box. $12 per spot to enter via PayPal. Ryan Majeski at MSN.com to enter into that. You'll find more information in the description of this video as well as in the live chat. Diglett starts the one and only Darkness Ablaze pack. Tauros. Pan Sage. Wishiwashi. Rookidee. Metal type energy. Heat Fire Energy, a very good fire type special energy. Ursaring. Old PC. Reverse Hall of a Dino, just a common. Final card would be a Houndoom V. So there is the one white card code card from the tin that I was hoping for in a Houndoom V. Saw a little bit of fire on the card, hoping it was the Charizard V Max, but not bad right there. Set that one aside. Of course, I'll summarize all of my good pulls at the end of the opening. Now on to Battle Styles. Battle Styles, a little bit easier to come by. You can still find the Elite Trainer boxes for sale at MSRP online most places. The alternate arts would be the chase cards in the set. Tyranitar in particular, a beautiful looking card. Shink starts this one. First of two, Gligar, Spoink, Bronzor, Tepig, Grass type energy, Rapid Strike style mustard. This, as well as the Single Strike Style Mustard, very good. Cheryl, Heatmore, Reverse Hall of a Pachirisu, just a common. Rare here would be a Mimikyu V, and this would be a V Full Art. So that would be a dab, an elbow cough in the live chat there as a collector. Love the Full Art cards of V Pokemon. So an excellent pull right there. A beautiful looking card, pink and purple on the background, really makes Mimikyu stand out. So an, a very good tin so far. Still one more to go, and still one more pack to open in tin number one. And I do have the Empoleon V Strikers tins to open up as well. I have not seen those tins in retail stores anywhere. I believe they actually were released on the official release date for Chilling Rain. Let's see what happens in the final pack. Timber starts it. Tepig. Glamiel. Silicobra. Frillish. Water type energy. Heatmore. Single strike scroll of scorn. You can attach this to single strike Pokemon and use its attack. Bisharp. Reverse all of a bell sprout, just a common. And then Vivian would be the rare. Certainly hoping for similar pulls in tin number two. Just to summarize quickly from tin number one, pulled out two rare reverse hollows, a Pokemon V, and then a V full art. All right, so let's get to tin number two of Tyranitar V V Strikers again. I purchased this from Collector's Cash for $22.99. Now, Collector's Cash does have a Poke course on, out there on buying and selling Pokemon cards. You can find an affiliate link for that program in the description of this video. It does help support the channel if you purchase that program. Of course, lots of other ways to support the channel if you're interested. The easiest way would be to subscribe and leave a like on the video. All right, so I'll just quickly get to the five booster packs here. Of course, leave the Tyranitar in there for my thumbnail. All right, set that down. I'm assuming the five same packs in this one looks to be the, ooh, does not look to be the case. Cosmic Eclipse, which I would much rather open than Celestial Storm, Sword and Shield Base Set, Darkness Ablaze, and then Battle Styles. And good thing I looked at the camera. There we go. There would be the five booster packs, Cosmic Eclipse, Sword and Shield Base Set, Darkness of Blaze, and Battle Styles. So I actually am a huge fan of that set. I'll actually save it until the end. Then start with the Sword and Shield Base Set. 
Snorlax V Max on the cover artwork design of the pack. Would love to pull that as a rainbow rare. I've had some luck with Sword and Shield base set pulling some V Max rainbow rares out. First pack in tin two starts with Rhyhorn, Sobble, clueless looking Sobble, Grookey, Wooloo, Stone Journer, Water type Energy, Pokemon Catcher. Bisharp, Salazzle, Reverse Solo after this. Sizzlipede would be a Bellator, and I must have did the card trick incorrectly. I'm flustering myself here. Did I get a rare, or was this an air pack? It might have been an air pack. Nope, Stone Journer was the rare. I just did the card trick incorrectly there. Stone Journer would be the rare. And that happens. I fold under pressure sometimes. Not much pressure, just making a video by myself down here. We'll move on to Darkness Ablaze again. Still hoping for that Charizard VMAX. A card that I pulled lots of times from this set would be Butterfree VMAX. That's always a terrible sign. You open up the pack, even Carla knows what that indicates. That's why I do like sets like Shining Fates and Vivid Voltage, where you can get something better than a rare Reverse Hollow in that Reverse Hollow slot. Sinistee starts the Darkness Ablaze pack. Carablast, Meltan, Marini, Porloin, Psychic Type Energy, Dedenne, Mad Party, a deck archetype from this set, Vibrava, Corvusquire, Reverse Hollow, a Hippowdon, which is a rare, doing very well with the rare Reverse Hollows in this opening, and then Thievil would be the final card. Of course, Thievil is in Shining Face as a shiny Pokemon. I've opened up so many Shining Fates packs, and they are easier to come by a little bit now. I've only pulled two Charizard VMAXs from thousands of Shining Fates booster packs. Try my best not to look at the code card. Again, hoping for an alternate art, but a white cleared code card from one of the five packs is the goal. Mankey starts this one. Battle Styles, Mawile, Philantis. Remoraid, Spearow, Grass-type Energy, Phoebe, a very good supporter card during this turn. Damage from your Pokemon VMAX's attacks isn't affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. Heatmore, Pharaoh, Reverse Hall of an Esper, just a common. Final card would be a Mian Shao. Hoping I'm saving the best pulls for the final two packs. Maybe I'll get an alternate art from Cosmic Eclipse. Tyranitar on the Battle Styles pack. I have been lucky enough to pull one Tyranitar V alternate art in the past. Keeping my eyes closed there. I don't want to give away what's going to be in that final spot. Cacnea starts the final Battle Styles pack. Spoink. Roly Coley. Frillish. Esper. Lightning type energy. Carcoal. Pig Knight, Fan of Waves, Reverse Sala of a Single Strike Energy. This is a very good special energy. Increases the attacks of your Single Strike Pokemon. Increases them by 20. Final card would be an Embor, and this is indeed a rare haul. I believe it is also a pre-release promo for the set. This card's ability, your single strike Pokemon's attacks do 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. So essentially, if you want to take the time to set up a stage two, you can combine single strike energy with Embor and just do major damage. It's similar to what I did when I first started to play the competitive scene with Buzzwool GX and Fighting Fury Belt, Diancy Prism Star. You could, strong energy, you could increase the attacks of Buzzwool GX and really all fighting type Pokemon. All right, final pack in Tin 2, Cosmic Eclipse, mm -hmm. a very powerful triple tag team GX on the cover art with the sign in Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia. Again, close my eyes here. I don't want to see the code card. That ruins the fun for myself as well. Four and two for the card trick. Final pack in this tin starts with Ponyta. Crab Roller, Carvana, Chincho, Azuril, Darkness Type Energy, Probopass, 
Igly buff, Pyroar, Reverse Solo of a Glalie, which would be a rare. Did very well with the rare Reverse Solos, and then Swoobat would be the final card. So tin one was much better than tin number two. Pulled out two rare Reverse Solos and a rare Holo from tin number two. I'll summarize both tins now. Very happy with the pulls from what? 10 booster packs. All right, so like I said, from 10 booster packs, I was able to pull four rare reverse solos, Glalie, Hippowdon, Galarian Rapidash, my favorite of the four, and then Kartana. One rare holo in Embor, again, a very good ability on this card. One V in Houndoom, and then easily the best pull from the two tins, the Mimikyu V Full Art. So that will conclude these V Striker 10 openings. Thank you everyone for watching. As always, before you go, if you have not already, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to my channel if you have not, and then if you would like to support the channel even more, lots of ways to do so. You can find all of those ways in the description of this video. I do have an upcoming break for a Chilling Rain booster box. You can find that information in the live chat and in the description of this video. You can become a patron of mine on Patreon. You can always donate via the live chat, via the super chat and super stickers. There's my Pokemon book out there, Pokemon cards, the unofficial ultimate collector's guide. And then consider the course on Collector's Cash's website tips for buying and selling Pokemon cards. But that will conclude this video. Thank you everyone for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.